Hi, I'm Rachel from Rev Robotics, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Blinken, which is a simplified LED driver. So when you order a Blinken from us, you get this, which is the actual product. You get a power cable, a POEM cable, uh, this cable that will adapt to LEDs, and an adjustment screwdriver. So that's what comes when you order the Blinken. Additionally, you can order LEDs from us, or they're compatible with other sources. We offer a 12-volt uh, common anode uh, RGB LED strip, as well as, and this comes in a 5-meter roll, and then we have the addressable 5-volt LEDs, the WS2812B variety, and that comes in a 1-meter strip. If you're not sure the difference between the two kinds of LED strips, here's a really quick demonstration. So this is our 12-volt common anode RGB strip. The whole strip has to be the same color at the same time. So as you can see, we're slowly rotating through a rainbow pattern. This is the 5-volt addressable strip doing the same pattern of the Blinken. And this is a rainbow pattern, but you can see that each individual LED can be a different color. All right, after you open your Blinken, we're going to talk about what, what all the features on this case are. So on the end, you have an XT30 connector for power. This is keyed, so you can't plug in backwards. And then on, also on this end, you're going to have your PWM cable input, and you need to do it with the, the white, the signal wire, towards the middle of the case. On the other end, you have a 7-pin JST-PH connector for our LED adapter cable. On the top of your case, you have two momentary buttons. You have a mode or up and a strip select or down button. There are three analog potentiometers that are used for different kinds of adjustments. You have your status LED, tells you what kind of mode the Blinken is in and whether it's detecting a valid input signal or not. And then down here, you have an indicator about which strip is being currently driven. Um, we have two supports. The Blinken supports two different kinds of strips, the 12 volt and the 5 volt, but you can only control one of them at a time. And so the LED would correspond with the kind of strip you're trying to control. It also generally, if you plug in your strip, the strip will light up if you've got the right one selected. A few edge cases, if you're outputting a black, then you wouldn't have a strip light. This will indicate which one you're actually controlling. The up and down functions are short presses, and to change your mode or strip select, it's a long press. So for example, to change from 5 volt to 12 volt, I would push and hold the strip select button, and then the LED indicator moves to the other side. For complete details about how to operate the Blinken and what all the buttons do, check the online documentation. To get started with the Blinken, you're going to take your LED adapter cable and plug that in, and then take your chosen strip. In this case, I'm using a 5-volt addressable strip. Plug that in, and now I've got this XT30 cable adapter connected to a 12-volt battery source. You plug it in, and then we go ahead and it's going to power up with its default pattern. So at this point, this is operating in standalone mode. It's just going to output power, uh, a pattern to the LEDs and you can choose what pattern you have at this point by clicking up and down on the mode buttons and it will start cycling through patterns and you can reference the Blinken getting started guide for a list of all of the patterns. These patterns are not saved in memory and they'll reset back to your default when you power cycle the product. If you want them to save into memory you need to use the setup mode. Setup mode on the Blinken allows you to save new defaults. So things like strip length information for the 5 volt strip, as well as your default no signal pattern and two colors can be customized. Commonly this would be your team colors. So before you enter setup mode, you want to make sure you have the right strip output selected. So if it is displaying, you have the right one selected. But say you were using a 12 volt strip, you would have to press and hold the strip select button and then the 12 volt light would light up and your strip would light up also. But we're using the 5 volt, so I'm going to switch back to that. So we have the correct strip output selected. Uh, we're currently in normal run mode, which is the blue LED. So to enter setup mode, we push and hold the mode button for about six seconds. You'll notice the status LED has moved to yellow, and the pattern we're displaying now has two colors. We've got a large blue section and a smaller red section. So right now this Blinken is set up to have the default team colors as red and blue. To adjust these, you're going to use color one and color two adjustment knobs and the small screwdriver pr provided. And so I'm just cycling through this. There are 21 different color options, including black, which is off, which I'm showing here now. So blue is now our primary color. And our secondary color is now kind of a gold color. So in addition to this, if you're using a five volt strip, you may want to adjust the length of the strip. Some of the patterns, um, it won't matter for, but some of the patterns may be uh, like a Cylon or a bouncing ball back and forth. If the end of your strip is not set at the correct length, the, the pattern will go off the, the LED strip and take a while to come back. 
So we want to adjust the strip by using the third potentiometer here, marked length. And we're going to turn that down, which is counterclockwise, until we start seeing the pattern disappear from the strip. And so then we're going to slowly turn it up till we hit the end of the strip. So now our strip length is set. To exit setup mode and save, you would push and hold the, the mode and strip select buttons. To cancel, you would just hit the mode button. The other thing you can do in setup mode is when you have no input signal present, which is indicated by the blinking status light, you can change what your default pattern is, that power on de up default, by clicking the up and down buttons. So if when we start up the robot and it is disabled, this is that pattern that will be displayed. So to save and exit, push and hold both buttons, the mode and the strip select. So you've exited setup mode, the status light is now showing blue again. In the normal operation mode, when the status LED is blue, several parameters about the LEDs are adjustable to make the pattern more customized. For all patterns, you can adjust the overall brightness of the strip using the brightness LED. So there's maximum brightness, and you can go all the way down to make a very dim pattern. Many of the patterns also allow you to do other kinds of adjustment, but not all. Reference the Blinken documentation to see which patterns are adjustable. So this is pattern number 72 in the table, which is a beats per minute team color pattern. And for this one, you can adjust the density of the pattern. So where the dividing mark is here in this case. So that's the longest version. And then you can also adjust the the speed. So this is the slowest setting for this pattern. And that's the fastest setting for this pattern. Here's another example of pattern adjustment. So again, we have adjustment available for the brightness, minimum brightness and maximum brightness. And then for the first adjustment, this is the density of the pattern. So how many times, how many LEDs it takes to repeat the pattern. So this is just a, just a rainbow. Um, you can see here that you've got a couple re repeats on it. At the maximum density and at the minimum density, you don't have an entire rainbow. You also can adjust the speed. Right now the speed is at zero, so it's not moving. But if I adjust that off of zero, you can see how the pattern starts to, to walk through the LEDs. And so you can, by changing the combination of these two color, these two adjustments, you can get some different pattern effects. The Blinken can be set up to run in standalone mode with no input signal, which is what we've done up to now. You can set one static pattern that it will just do until it's told to do something else via clicking up or down on the buttons or reprogramming the setup defaults. But a lot of teams may want to control their LEDs during a match while the robot's enabled, and that's either for aesthetics or for robot driver feedback. To do that, you need to connect the Blinken to a PWM port on your motor control, on your uh, robot controller. So in this case, I'm using a Robo Rio. And after you've connected that signal, the, when the Blinken detects a valid input signal, the status LED will go solid, either in setup or normal runtime mood mode. The LED will be a solid color, not a blinking color, to indicate that it's detected a valid signal. So after you do that, in your software, you're going to want to set up a motor controller output just like you would to drive a motor. So in this case, I am setting it up as a spark. So if you can drive a motor, you can drive LEDs. And if you look at the Blinken LED documentation, there's a table at the bottom that will tell you what output value will correspond with the different patterns. You can also set this up as a servo or any other kind of motor controller, but you will just need to adjust your output power value to match up with the pulse width for the pattern, which is listed in the table at the end of the documentation. So I'm going to quickly run through a couple of patterns just to give you an idea of what they look like. So first up, I'm going to do pattern number three. And so this is just, this is like an ocean palette going in kind of a rainbow waves. 
And so for the spark, if you're configured as a spark, this is negative 0 0.095 is your motor power. And the next pattern, which is pattern number seven, and this one is a confetti pattern. And the, if you're, again, if you're configured as a spark output, you'd be a negative 0 0.087 output. And these are all the kind of patterns that are, most of these are adjustable with the adjustable knobs. Um, some of them are just fixed colors and some of them are based on your team colors. So in this case, this is based on a team color. And this is a blinking pattern based on your secondary team color, which we set up earlier. This is a similar confetti pattern, but now it's using your team colors instead of a fixed palette. And in addition to all of the patterns that are either of fixed palettes or the team color palettes, we have some solid colors at the end of the table. And these are the, correspond to the same 21 colors that you have to select from for your team colors. And you can call these dynamically. And you can even write programs that call them in sequence and you can make your own patterns. All right, thanks for watching this guide on the Blinken LED driver. For more details, check out the documentation on revrobotics.com.